Hello there, fellow summoners. Mad Dog HT here, and we got another fight from the Grandmaster's Gauntlet, and this one is Nightcrawler NC, that evading madman. And so this one has enhanced abilities, critical for critical rate and damage, the best defense, and force of will. So I'm going in with Aegon, of course, because he's all ramped up. He's going to have that true strike or true accuracy going to bypass all of that evading but do keep in mind that the first hit when you're rushing in um, it may not have that true accuracy applied to uh, bypass that evade um, so either parry or hit into the block and that should help but it, because he has that enhanced abilities he's going to be evading quite a bit I think even if you hit into the block so but once you parry and then you get into your combo, you're going to have those true accuracy buffs up and you're going to be good to go. But you're going to see like I go in and yeah, he's just not having any, any, he's like, you're not touching me on that first hit if you don't have those true accuracies up. And yeah, but after that, after that, you know, you're pretty, pretty much good to go and you can parry all you want. Doesn't have limber, doesn't have one eye open or anything like that. So... Yeah, a ramped up Aegon is really great. Even though you got the class disadvantage, the damage that Aegon's gonna put out is fantastic. And you can get big special twos off and get a decent bleed, 2k a tick. And that's, you know, it's gonna be doing some good damage. I think this fight ends up around 100 hits or so. Um, but yeah, we do get the solo. I think as long as you're patient and you know I, I know I'm, I'm not really one for doing the Aegon charge a heavy big damage type thing because I just don't like to get hit and I don't know sometimes I just feel like it, I don't know maybe maybe I just need more practice with it but I feel like I often get hosed when I try to do that more often than not so you do have to work, watch out though, you know, if, you, if you're hitting into him and you don't have the true strike up and he's evading and he's got that evade buff up, you know, he's he's got the best defense so that power can start shooting up pretty good. And you see like he went from like a full bar power, uh, full bar, two bars with just him evading all over the place. So he is, he is, he will evade. So you definitely want somebody that can have true strike and bypass all of those evades and you know if that's the case you know should be should be good to go i think we're gonna get a parry off and a special one or a special not special one a special three which is gonna give a big big stun and i think we're gonna finish him off on this let's see because i don't think he's gonna no i don't think i do finish him off i think well maybe i do i'm trying to remember yeah, we do finish him off. No, I back off just just in case I the damage wasn't quite there. And you know, I think that's a good tip. Sometimes you get greedy and it backfires, but here we get the solo. Thanks for watching, fellas. Hope this was helpful. Aegon is just so solid for the gauntlet. Thanks and peace out.